Let's Lakers versus Warriors. Uh, you know, I'm really sad yeah. that you can't sign guys in the middle of the playoffs because I would request that no. the Kings release Matthew Dellavedova and Matthew Dellavedova signs with the Lakers for this playoff series. That would be sick. They don't need them. They have AR-15. So, you know, the weird part with the Lakers is I know the Lakers, we don't even know what lineup they're going to play with because, like, we know the main guys there, but, like, they could play with a completely different group. Like maybe they're they run whenever Anthony Davis is off the floor, Jared Vanderbilt or Wayne Gabriel. Or maybe they go, you know, Mo Bamba. Or we don't even know because we saw a little bit of Mo Bamba last game, but I know it was because it was it's a garbage, blowout. Yeah. yeah, it was garbage time. But, but you know, I, I what's the strategy here for the Lakers going against the Warriors? Because we know the Warriors, what they're gonna do. The Warriors are gonna play Warriors basketball. All right. That that's to be expected, and they're gonna run Draymond Green, Andrew Wiggins, Clay Thompson, Dante DiVincenzo, Stephen Curry, Jordan Poole, and Gary Payne the second. That's basically gonna be a lineup. While the Lakers, they have the size matchup, and they have the more balanced roster that they can they can match up small, they can match up big against the Warriors. But the Warriors can't really play big. But the big thing is, how do you stop Kevon Looney? Box I love that. Yeah, box them out. Grab the – I was taught this in, in middle school basketball. Grab the short so the ref can't see it and just tug on it. Yeah. It's a little too close for my liking, so I never did it. Um, but you if you're you the Lakers, like- if you're the Lakers, get that ball down low. Attack the paint. Anthony Davis, do your thing. LeBron, do your thing. Attack the paint. Hope those threes hit. Play fast basketball. Uh, take advantage in transition and try to. I don't think they're gonna. You don't have to I, trap stuff, but you know, force Golden State to make turnovers because they love turnovers. I know this is such an objective thing to say, and it's a very easy way to say how this series, how this game will be decided. But a, it's whoever wins the rebounding battle on offense and on defense. If the Lakers are able to stop Kevon Looney from getting offensive rebounds and kicking them out to Clay Thompson, Clay Thompson and Steph Curry then I think the Lakers and slash the Lakers are able to get inside and finish in the paint. The Lakers will win this. But if the Lakers struggle to stop Kevon Looney from rebounding and they they struggle to score inside, this is going to be a long night for them because and the, if the Warriors are, especially if the Warriors are hitting their threes, the Warriors will win this. Again, I have said this before. If this goes to a seven-game series, I it's hard for me to say the Warriors will lose in seven games. But if this is anything shorter than seven games, I'm taking the Lakers in five or six. If that makes sense. I'll do the skit again because my man Cozy is here. Thai chicken curry, green eggs and ham. Lakers is five. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, like, I, I Actually, um, I'm going to go Golden State in six. And Warriors win uh, 122 to 96. He's trying to reverse jinx. I got Lakers in six. But if this goes to seven, I'm taking the Warriors because, again, a seven-game series, I can't bet against Steph Curry and the Warriors in, se- in a game seven. But, again, if this is anything last six or five games, I'm going Lakers because of their size and because I get – in a weird way, the Lakers are deeper than the Warriors. You n- never would have thought you would say this six months ago. But, yes, the Lakers are deeper than the current Warriors. Wow. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. On paper, on paper, on paper, on paper, on paper. I think Let me correct more that. Yeah, Rui I think I think the Lakers are way more have a yeah. way more versatile roster, and they can game plan and make adjustments a lot more than. Darvin Ham doesn't do that. Yeah, also, I I right. will say Darvin Ham. Also, what I love about him, he'll just say fuck whatever mid game and just just try something new. If it's I've not working. That. He has done that. He Oh yeah, he'll take they'll go on they'll be down fifteen and then get it to a two point game and then I'll take out AD MV Davis. I mean I am frustrated. He's a little I I, I think Darvin Ham gets skit, like I think he does he's done a good job being a first time head coach in if, his adjustments. Oh, also, true. The Lakers have to make threes this series. I'm oh sorry. yeah. That's just like it, Rui Hachimura I, can't be your best three point shooter. LeBron can't be shooting nineteen percent. Yeah, very, very true. LeBron James. And I don't think he will. That was really weird. I'm not even reverse jinxing it. I think the Lakers shoot 22% from three, 19% from three tonight. And 
probably lose this game. So. I think they're going to come out swinging. I'm going to go 54% three-point shooting tonight. Austin Reeves drops 22, 6, and 4. I will say, D'Angelo Russell, like every game. D'Angelo Angel- went 30 last game. No, that's what I'm saying. It's got to be a combination. Yeah. Davis He's and LeBron stuff. have to play good every night. Davis and LeBron, yeah. regardless, they have to have, be on their A game every night. But Rui Hachimura, D'Angelo Russell, Dennis Schroeder, I guess, I don't know who else you would throw in there. Malik Beasley and I don't know. Those guys have to each take turns being the third option. Okay, I'm not I'm not going to sit here and be like D'Lo every night. You got to be averaging 25 because that's not real. But D'Lo, he's going to have to have a good game one night. You know, Rui Hachimura is going to have to have a good game one night. Dennis Schroeder is going to have to have a good game one night to help out Davis and LeBron. Okay, they're, I'm not saying one guy's got to be the third option. But, you know, every game, one guy in the rotation has to step up. Austin Reeves is another guy. I know Austin Reeves is the most consistent. But we expect Austin Reeves to at least have 15 points. But we need... One of those guys that isn't Reeves, isn't LeBron, isn't Davis to step up and be that fourth or third guy in a game where LeBron, Davis, and Reeves are being locked up. And, you know, like game seven where Vandy drops two threes in the first quarter. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. And Rock and Chris says it best. D- AD has to play aggressive. There's no ifs. I think AD has been the best defensive player in the whole playoffs thus far. At times. Let's do No, whole, all. Whole time. Sometimes he gets tired and he, he he stops playing defense and that's why Darvin Ham takes him off the floor. Yeah, I get it. He gets tired. I think I think when Davis gets on, tired, he just stops playing basketball. When Davis gets tired, he literally is a detriment on the court. They don't have any. I don't. I don't agree, but dude, there was what game two against the Grizzlies where like Davis is actually terrible. Um. There was one game against the Grizzlies where he was. There was, there was that bad game, and then him and LeBron in the overtime win, right? Yeah. That, and then, yeah, but then he. He picked it up for the rest of the He did great defensively all game, but, yeah, him and LeBron came through when they needed the most. Yeah, but for most of that game, he was bad, right? On offense, but no, defensively, he's the best 